Hi, welcome to World Drum Club. I'm your guest instructor, Dave Holland. This drum is typically used as a sound effect. It comes by many different names. This one is the Wave Drum by the Sonic Energy line and the company Minel. In this video, we'd like to introduce a few simple rhythms that you can play on this drum. We're going to be playing in a lap style that is often played in frame drum traditions. And we're going to be using two traditional sounds. One is the doom, and it's created by throwing the thumb against this part of the drum with the dominant hand. The next sound we're going to be doing is the pa sound, and that's going to be created by bringing the hand up and catching with the finger pads, the four finger pads, just like this. Now, in a lap style, the drum is comfortably seated on the lap, and you'll notice that my non-dominant hand is just comfortably resting the, the drum here. This allows us to create that third sound from this wave drum simply by tapping the hand up against the shell. And we're going to call that sound the chick sound. For our purposes here, only three sounds, the doom, the pa, and the chick. Here's a simple exercise to incorporate all of those sounds. So from there, we can begin to build up our rhythms. We're gonna be using traditional rhythms from the Middle Eastern tradition. The first one we're going to play is Malfouf. You'll recognize it because it has the three plus three plus two pattern that is found in the first measure of song clave. All right, so it's gonna sound like this. So now we can begin to layer in our chick sound. I'm going to be looking for a space just before each pa and then add a chick to the rhythm like this. And now we'll add one more chick at the end of the rhythm to sort of keep it going. Here's what it sounds like. So now I'm gonna trade out this wave drum for this drum behind me. It's very similar in that it does have the shot inside. This drum is called the 99 Slapback. It's made by the Cooperman Company, and it was created uh, by both Jamie Haddad and Matt Kilmer. And what's unique about this drum is that it has a, an open mesh back. And so that allows more sound to come out of the drum, but still keep the shot inside. This little piece of plastic down here allows the shot to bounce off that plastic and provides a, another sound possibility. The other great thing about the 99 Slapback is that it is entirely tunable. Pretty cool feature. All right, here we go. Rhythm number two. We're going to play a maksum. The fundamental pattern for maksum is dum pa, pa dum pa. Doom pa, pa, doom pa. It'll sound like this. Now, if you listen to this pattern, you'll notice that there are two notes close together in the beginning, then two more notes close together, and then one on its own. Doom pa, pa, doom pa. I'm going to refer to these as rhythm cells, a phrase that I learned from Glenn Velez to define notes that are together within a rhythm. That makes it simple for this drum because we can use those spaces in between those cells to add our chick. It'll sound like this.
Okay, here we go. Our third rhythm, shift the telly, an eight beat rhythm. And the fundamental pattern sounds like this. We're going to take that same concept that we used with the last rhythm and put a chick in between each cell. It'll sound like this. So there you go. Some traditional rhythms played on a fairly new drum. If you want to check out some great players that play in this style, here are some names for you. Jamie Haddad, Matt Kilmer, Shane Shanahan, Tom Teasley, and Steve Shahan. Hope you had fun with this. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. If you want to find out more about what I do, you can find me on patreon.com slash Dave Holland. We'll see you again real soon right here on World Drum Club. World Drum Club.